Right, this is a collection of fruit luster um, by Wedgwood. Uh, it's part of the ordinary luster range. Um, there were fish, dragons, butterflies, hummingbirds, various things. The fruit luster came out relatively late. It came out in 1928 and ran right through until 1940. Um, extremely wide range of bowls and shapes, nearly all of the shapes were used for the fruit luster range, it was very popular. Um, I'll let you have a quick look at this. Turn that off. And these two are identical. A large 10 inch footed bowl. As you can see a high gloss finish to them. Um, they should all give a good clear ring. You like give it a good flick if you're interested in buying a piece and um, they tend to sound dead if they've got a crack in them they uh, I'll hold this piece on the outside they sound like that um, that's what you should get they all ring even these tiny little pin dishes and small bowls um, I have heard restored pieces still ring and I've heard them ring with a hairline crack in them so it's not a hundred percent but so give it a good look over um, really examine them closely and look for any restoration um, any chips they're extremely hard because they're bone china but um, they so hence they do chip quite easily but so you often find little bits of restoration on the outside of them and it tends to feel warmer and just doesn't feel as hard and the, you lose a little bit of the gloss just hold it round the light really look round it um, all of the luster range carried the same number all of the fruit luster range carried the same number which is Z5457 um, you see the Portland vase mark on there um, there was another variation of this which was in a bronze luster that will have a different number on it, but all of the fruit lust will carry that number. Um, I'll show you some dragon luster next. I've got some dragon luster, but this is my fruit luster.